All right, I got a question for you. This is a, a question that was thrown out. Started blogging the boys, so I'll give them credit. I think it's an interesting conversation started for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, Michael Parsons is the best Cowboys defensive player since. Wow. Ever that I've seen. When, my you're, own eyes. when you're age, you're, you're – Yeah, you're age, you're right. Mm. Um, e, you go way back. Probably for me since DeMarcus Ware. DeMarcus well, Ware was a beast. I think Mike is better. I mean, he is. And, oh, and look, DeMarcus is in the Hall of Fame, and no. rightfully so. Yeah, I'm not and, saying that. And Ty that. said that. Ty said that's best I don't know that I've seen, seen a player like Michael Parsons. That's the whole thing. Not even, like, Cowboys are, are, are anywhere. I mean, he's he's 255 pounds, but he runs like Tyreek Hill. I'm like, what the hell is this guy? How did they block him? His, his, his quickness, his power, uh, he, I, is, he I, is something else. I heard an interview with J. Run Curse on, I think it was on the ticket, and they asked him if you lined up everybody on the team and had them race, who would win? And he said, Micah. <laughs> and it looks like it. And I was like, what? Well, you know why? The reason I say Tyreek Hill is Tyreek Hill, when you watch him play, you're like, he's the, he's the fastest guy on the field. No one can catch him. <laughs> That's why he scares defenses. Well, Micah plays. You're watching him. He's the fastest guy on the field. That guy's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, I don't know that we've seen a player like him. Is it Dion? Plus, he's got this. I think it's Dion. That's a good one. I mean, prime yeah. time was prime time. He was the prime best. Was he's the best defensive player in the league, arguably. Definitely the best corner. I'm going to say it's the best since prime time, but he's he's more impactful than prime time. Well, look, I he's, mean, he's, I, he's more impactful than prime time. I no mean, doubt. Somebody on the text line says, go back to Randy White. That's you have, the, the might man, have to. The manster. Part man, part monster. Someone says Charles Haley in 2002. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, this guy is, uh, He's. I think he's the best defensive weapon in the league. And, you know, in his rookie year when he was all pro, he was com- compared to there was some Lawrence Taylor comparisons. And I don't think that's too far off. I mean, Lawrence Taylor more, just man. wrecked games. And the thing about Lawrence Taylor when he was on those Bill Parcells Giants teams was the defense itself was great, right? He was just one piece of a great defense, and that's what Mike is. There's so many other really good players that, you know, you, you, you got to account for them. But, man, it opens things up when he when he comes up the middle. And and they have to double team him in the middle. Well, that opens up things for Demarcus Ware, oh, for Diggy Zua. Everybody, everybody's getting yeah. theirs. And again, this was a this is a Jets team. Their offense isn't good. The Bills, there was they had no business beating the Bills in Week One. We all know that. Josh Allen gave them four turnovers, and they they won in overtime. So this is not a good Jets team with with Zach Wilson at quarterback. They've got okay. a major problem there. But you know they had 215 total yards. 68 came on one play. So on the other rest of the game, they allowed 147 yards. 147. This is an NFL game. <laughs> I mean, come on. They kept talking about what 85 Bears and Raven 2000 Ravens. I mean, they were they were boldly guys on this defense boldly making now, those now types of proclam- you know, now proclamations. Like it, right now they're playing yeah. like it, like they want to be historically good. Like they they they're actually looking at. Them. I'm sure they were disappointed big time in the in the Garrett Wilson touchdown because it was just a one one blown missed tackle. Mm-hmm. Uh, on one good throw by Zach Wilson, and that was it. But that's the only touchdown they've given up this year. And they the time of possession edge was 42-15 to 17-45. They played eight quarters. They've only given up a touchdown in seven of them. Like, <laughs> that is crazy, man. This, I think it's the best defense in the league. Yeah, they've they've shut, up, they shut up their opponents in seven of the eight quarters they played. Uh, well, the and, and, and Tony Romo was doing the game yesterday with Jim Nance, and he was comparing him to, to Lawrence Taylor on the broadcast. And um, yeah, I mean it's it's hard, it's hard to argue right now that he's the most dominant force on that side of the ball in the league. I'll so. give this one little stat uh, just while we f- uh, finish up the conversation about Micah because I gave it earlier, and it is a mind blowing one to show you what kind of pace he's on. He has recorded at least two sacks in twenty eight over twenty eight percent of his career games, highest percentage of any player in NFL history. Reggie White, who is known as the all, one of the all-time greatest pass rushers. Um, he's he had, he's at twenty one point six percent of his career games where he had two plus sacks. Before we uh, get to Rod's rant, I do a couple other bad stats on a good, bad, and ugly Monday. Not for the Give Cowboys. Me, me some bad stats. 